Hey everyone, so, in the part 1 of this same list, many of you complained why a certain anime isn't here. But I think you missed the point of the video. It was made to provide anime suggestions, then why should I include popular shows there? But in this list you will see both popular and not so popular anime, but mostly popular ones. And before we start be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications to never miss upcoming videos. In 10th place comes in Kakuryo, Bed and Breakfast for Spirits. Female college student Aoi inherited her deceased grandfather's ability to see Ayakashi. One day, while she is feeding some Ayakashi, a demon appears before him. He declares that her grandfather owed a great debt, and as compensation, she must marry the demon. She refuses and decides to pay off the debt by working. I have to admit that prior to watching this show, I had little interest in it, until realizing what it was really about. A fantasy slice of life anime like this doesn't come by too often, so this is a good change of pace. In ninth place is Kanokan. Having spent most of his life in the country, Kota is understandably nervous when he moves in with his grandma to attend a high school in the big city. He hoped to make a good impression, but having Chizuru, a beautiful fox spirit, hanging off his arm didn't seem to be the sort of image he wanted to have. She's not alone in her love for Kota either. Nozomu, a wolf spirit, as well as other yokai have their sights set on the hapless country boy. The anime itself isn't much to talk about, it's the usual harem cliches, but with a little innocent boy as the main character. In 8th place is Please Teacher. Please Teacher is a love story about a forbidden relationship between a teacher and her student. Their relationship starts out as a cover-up, but grows into something much deeper and meaningful. There is a fair share of comedic moments, twists, and misunderstandings, but this story is essentially about their marriage, its highs and lows, happy and sad moments, fights and makeups. I personally enjoyed it a lot, even though it's old, but as the proverb goes old as gold, you might want to give it a try. In 7th place is Ah, My Goddess. I know this name seems strange and sounds strange, but as for the anime it's pretty unique. In a world where humans can have their wish granted via the goddess help hotline, a human, Keiichi Morisato, summons the goddess Bell Dandy by accident and jokes that she should stay with him forever. Unfortunately for him, his wish is granted. Suddenly, Keiichi is now living with this gorgeous woman all alone, causing him to be kicked out of the all-male dormitory he was staying in. But soon, after they find lodging in a Buddhist temple, Keiichi and Beldandi's relationship begins to blossom. Although they are both awkward and rather uncomfortable with one another at first, what awaits these two strangers could turn out to be an unexpected romance. In sixth place is Rent a Girlfriend. I'm sure you guys have watched or at least heard of this one. This has been the raging topic among the anime community in fall 2020. The whole idea of this anime is really weird and our main character is even weirder. I didn't particularly hate it but didn't like it either. While watching this anime I was constantly thinking of dropping it but I couldn't. In the end the experience was horrible and season 2 has already been announced. I'm not looking forward to it but I'm also interested to see what's gonna happen. In fifth place is Orishura. The story of this anime was pretty decent. It wasn't special, but it wasn't boring either. 
It's pretty much about a childhood friend trying to get the protagonist back to her from his kind of evil girlfriend, while more harem members join the crew along the way. The different thing about this is the super light-hearted tone. To me this is what basically sets the anime apart from the others of the same genre. The art of this anime suited the light-hearted tone really well, and I liked it quite much. In fourth place is Tonikawa. The beauty of Tonikawa lies in its simplicity. It's not just another wholesome fluffy rom-com, it's much more than that. What I think makes Tonikawa the perfect rom-com for me is that how the romance isn't dragged out, there is little to no drama, which is perfect for people like me. Not that I hate it, but I find it overwhelming, drama isn't something I'd watch every time, anime like Orgero is good, but exhausting at the same time. On the other hand, we have anime like Tonikawa, which is completely different from that, it's something I could always watch. Overall this anime is something that I would recommend to everyone. In third place is The World God Only Knows. This anime is not your typical harem anime. It has a deep plot and real character development. We have our main character who's known as the God of Conquest because of his expertise in games. When he arrogantly accepts an anonymous offer to prove his supremacy at dating sim games, Kama is misled into aiding a naive and impish demon from hell named Elsie to capture evil spirits that are inside girls. Kama now has his title of God of Conquest put to the ultimate test, as he is forced to navigate through the hearts of a multitude of real-life girls. In second place is to Love Ro. This is undoubtedly one of the most famous harem anime second to high school DXD. The story of To Love Ro isn't much to talk about, but the whole anime is pretty much harem cliché only, it doesn't have much complexity, and it's mostly all fun and games with a lot of fan service. In first place is Nesekoi, False Love. When thinking about forced into relationship anime, the first thing that comes to everybody's mind is Nesekoi. The story of Nesekoi revolves around Raku, a high school student who's also the heir to an intimidating Yakuza family. However, when the American Beehive Gang invades his family's turf, Raku's idyllic romantic dreams are sent for a toss as he is dragged into a frustrating conflict. Raku is to pretend that he is in a romantic relationship with Chidoge, the beautiful daughter of the Beehive's chief, so as to reduce the friction between the two groups. I'm sure many of you have already watched it, but those who haven't, I highly suggest you to watch it if you're into rom-com anime. Alright everyone, that's it for today's list. Be sure to subscribe for more if you haven't already, and also let us know your thoughts on the video in the comment section and give a like as it will help us bring more awesome videos in the future. Also you can join our Discord server to chat with other otakus like yourself. With that being said, see you next time.